Here we have a piece of specially selected pork loin. It's had the fillet removed and it's the sirloin end. So this would be the equivalent of sirloin of beef. As you can see, you've got a beautiful lean muscle inside. We don't have a lot of fat on the outside, but what we do want to do is demonstrate how we can prepare this for a really nice boneless roast. Maximizing the flavor that we can put into it, um, but also making it very, very easy to carve afterwards. So the first thing we want to do is bone it out. What we have here is we've got two slightly longer rib bones coming down here, and then we've got the shorter sirloin bones coming along here. So the first thing we'll do is come down the back of the rib bones. And as with boning anything out, we want to stay as close to the bone as possible so that we're not slashing into any meat at all. As soon as we slash into any meat, you're going to lose moisture and flavour. So as I'm doing this with my knife, I'm pulling back with my left hand. Just to expose where I want to cut in here. And of course, these pork bones we can utilize as stock for anything else later on. So now this is boneless, but obviously it doesn't look too great just yet. So there's two or three things that we want to do. And one is to remove a lot of this uh, connective tissue. There's a couple of muscles of meat here, which although very lean, um, will not eat anywhere near as tender as the eye of the loin. So again, I'll just follow the natural seam cutting lines that are here. The roast that we want to prepare is purely the eye muscle. So I'm coming right down the side here. And then as soon as we get to the skin, there is a small layer of fat. And later on, we're going to utilize this. So I'm going to make sure that I'm only taking off the meat above the fat so that we can maximize the flavor later on. So the next thing that we're going to do is take the skin and the fat off. The reason for this is that there's going to be a layer of silver skin on the top of the muscle and we're going to take that away. So what I'm doing now is taking my knife between the layer of fat and skin and silver skin. And you can just see it starting to show here. There is more preparation involved in this for a roast, but it does make for far easier carving once cooked. So, the fat and the skin, we definitely want to keep this. And this is the eye of the loin that we're left with. <clears throat> now we do have a couple of extra muscles on top here because this is from the rump of the animal. So we want to square this off so that we get one nice consistent lean roast all the way through. And we'll use this for stir fry or whatever we want to later on. So as you can see, both ends now very lean. We're left with this tough silver skin. So all we want to do is get our knife and pop it underneath to expose this meat here. And any time I'm doing this, I'm angling my knife up to the silver skin, away from the meat, so we don't slash it at all. And it'll give us lovely, clean silver skin thereafter. If you're buying your pork in by weight, obviously you're now removing weight, but it does add value to what the customer's going to have afterwards and keep them coming back. So that's the silver skin from the back. The other thing we have is the chain running down here, exactly the same as you would see in a sirloin of beef. 
So we want to take it with one hand and just tease the boning knife down the seam there. <clears throat> and there we have a lovely lean roast. So we could cut this into medallions or steaks for very quick frying. You wouldn't want to cook these for too long, otherwise they'll dry up with not having much fat. But we're going to prepare this for a roast, and this is where we get our fat and our skin back in. So we'll just even this up slightly. Removing that little excess piece of fat there. We can square it off as well, so that it looks a little better. Now if you wanted to utilise this for crackling as well, score it at this point before you start to roll it back onto the loin. We're going to use it purely for protection of the meat and to impart a bit of flavour and stop it from drying out. So we won't have to do that just now. Now when I'm tying, I'm going to be conscious not to tie it too tight. The purpose of putting the string round is purely to hold the fat on the loin. Um, if we tie the string very, very tightly, all that will happen is, as the meat expands during cooking, the moisture will be pushed out. So we want to just tie it loosely, just so that it keeps its shape. There we are. So we don't have to square this up just now, because it is going to be for roasting. Once this is cooked, we can then cut the string, take the fat and the skin away, and that will be beautiful lean medallions of roast loin of pork.